Phase four of the MCU. Diversity is more important than anything. Hello everyone, I am Becca Random 42 No aliens today apparently, but I do have some backup on this whole diversity being more important than anything else stuff, nonsense, kerfuffle, hullabaloo shenanigans. I don't know what other words I want to bring in here. Boom, who are you? Why are you here? Dutch angle Batman villain. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm Rob Robot Shlomo and I'm currently waiting for the mother mothership to pick me up. So to take take me away from this gigantic you know what show it's so not we here can't, yet. we can't we can't curse within the first couple minutes we're not know. going to you know if we don't curse in the whole thing then i don't have to check that box either also if you guys like the content like subscribe share every sub gets a jiggle and my undying gratitude mm. and we won't yes. make you suffer with kazoos or you know if you like kazoos there, there's <laughs> kazoos for everyone <laughs> okay I just dropped it. Like, just stay there <laughs> that's a, that's right. I have plenty slide whistle for all of us, right? Yeah, keep it on hand. <laughs> so, what are we talking about today? Tessa Thompson said a thing. Oh, again, Tessa. Oh, you know these celebrities; their hearts in the right place, and <laughs> heads up their own. You know what? Oh, here we go. We can't see it there. Thor, Love and Thunder. Diversity is a pretty big deal. Yeah, such such a big deal. And instead of what? Story? I mean, mm -hmm. really. That's what it comes off so, as to me anyway. Instead of, instead of quality? Instead of <laughs> making money? Instead of making know. money. You know, they want to focus on the non-important, least important thing by putting everybody into their own little checkbox. As... Reducing them to what's on the outside, reducing them to a superficial characteristic that let's let's face it, you can't change a lot of what what you're born with, right? You can't change it. So why separate us by it? Why separate us and force us into these little different separated categories when these movies should be about uniting us? It's all just to pat themselves on the back and make themselves feel better in front of their in front of their low life Hollywood friends mm -hmm. at parties. Mm -hmm. I have an an albino little person in my movie. Well, I have a transvestite, transsexual, transgender, you know, whatever you know, Filipino lesbian in my movie. It's like, it's a game of Pokemon, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's one up it's one upsmanship. That's what it is. <laughs> it's collecting one of every color of the <laughs> rainbow anymore. And a lot of the times, well, do you want to read a couple of words of this article here? You got the comicbook.com one. Yeah. Up? <laughs> Diversity in future properties from Marvel Studios is something the studio executives have promised for quite some time. Really? Okay. Uh, now, Thor star, Love and Thun uh, Thor Love and Thunder star Tessa Thompson is doubling down on the promise because when you're a gambler and you're on a losing streak, what do you do? You lived in Vegas for a long time. <laughs> you cash you out and eat the free buffet. Yeah, well, she doubles down. Uh, that's, During that's a stop. A good During a stop on a recent episode of Variety's Actors uh, on Actors web series. Is that a new adult movie, Actors on Actors? <laughs> Thompson, Sometimes, if it's on Skin and Max, it is. Thompson told ooh, <laughs> comedian Rami Youssef, diversity and representation was something that would be pr a pretty big deal for Kevin Feige and his team as they move forward in developing a massive new slate of properties. In truth, is the truth is these movies travel globally in such huge ways. And if you can represent people that are of color, if you can represent people, represent people with disabilities... All right, let, let me let me interrupt here with the people with disabilities one because we've seen what they do in Star Trek with this. We've seen how they treat, you know, uh, um, learning disabilities. I like science. And you've seen how they treat people with physical differences and capabilities here. We we have a character that is no it, no 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 don't call him a character. Don't call him a character. A prop. Do, He's more yes. of a prop. Yes. Because he was a character, I'm, I'm getting to this point. First of all, A, first of all, A, well, it's all well and good. You have someone in a wheelchair, but uh, A, um, he wouldn't have to be in a wheelchair in the twenty in the twenty third century because medical te medical technology would get him out of the chair. 
so he could uh, live uh, a more ambulatory life and be more um, uh, even more functional person in society than he already well, it's is. Impractical uh, on the ship. B, B, uh, he would be a liability, and he wouldn't be allowed to ch- to be in Starfleet unless he because being because his physical mobility is a pretty big part of the job. And if Star- and if Starfleet is a quasi military organization, it then used to be, yeah, <laughs> then it would it would l- rely on you being able to uh, physically accomplish certain tasks. My uh, buddy of mine was in the Air Force. He hurt his knee, and they discharged him. Mm-hmm. He was full. He, he had full motions, but he had a previous knee injury jumping out of an airplane. And he said, "Well, you know what? You're a liability. We can't. I'm sorry, but you know." Well, same thing have... with police officers or any yeah. other sort of thing, uh, you know. And, and here, here's the thing too. I mean, they don't have the ship laid out to where you can mm-hmm. get around if you're in a chair like this. You know, they have stairs everywhere. They have ramp, like not even ramps. They have stairs. They have all of these tripping hazards everywhere. He wouldn't be able to get anywhere on the ship. He wouldn't even be able to get off the transporter pad because they don't. It's not wheelchair accessible because it's a military ship. That's not designed for that and mm-hmm. you know if, if this character were so important other than a background accessory basically his disability is used as an accessory and yes, that's what you- they do with lies then maybe this character would have something like i don't know a name a name he's not- he doesn't even have not- a name He's not a character. He's a cardboard cutout. And that's what's so offensive to me. And that is what's so offensive. Every time they use you know, d- disabilities, whether it be mental, physical, whatever the case may be, don't do that. So so Tessa Thompson, I, I, you know, I, again, heart's in the right place. And, you know, we're all for equal representation well, and people, everybody having a fair sh- shot at being she- represented on screen, right? She she adds a few more letters to the alphabet. If you can represent the people in the LGBTQIA community, what? How many more? What? How many more letters are you going to add? MIA? Are we missing in action? Uh, <sighs> inside of these films, it's a pretty big deal, Thompson said. Well, I, I'll give her at least this. She's not a blonde-haired white woman saying this. <laughs> saying diversity. <laughs> Well, mm-hmm. you know what happens every time we have that. Well, we'll get to that. We'll get to that in a minute because we're we're taking a journey. Well, There's well, three here, steps to this one. Here's the here's the here's the kicker though. She added, "I think it's really important for everybody, but for young people especially, to be able to show up to those movies and see projections of themselves." So I'm really excited that we're able to continue to push boundaries of that, and that I'm able to do do that with Valkyrie because there's so many cool queer characters in comic books and they should have a place on the screen. So you want everything to be a giant game of Fortnite. You want everything to be an empty, <laughs> an empty shell that you could just select your features, click continue. Th- that's and a look. video game. J- just play yeah. a video game. If that's what you want. Movies are not video. Ga- you know what? There's nothing wrong with choosing and creating your own character in a video game. But I mean, I don't need to see myself on screen because I'm never going to see myself represented on screen no. anyway. The reason why uh, why you love characters like Batman and like Spider-Man and like Captain America, well, Captain America is an aspirational hero. You, you're never going to be able to be Captain America, but it is an, an ideal you strive toward. But they're heroic. The reason, they're better they're than heroic. us. They're greater than they us. They're better than to us. To I do not want, to. yes. They're, get, the they're reason, getting rid the of reason, them too, though, here. No, no, another we got this covered. Yeah. The MCU well, anyway. will reportedly have almost no white male heroes soon. I mean, yeah. that's that's not it's it's not okay, the no. whole white male hero because that's a clickbait article. That's a race bait article, yeah, I think. That's, now, that's, yeah. the the problem is that you don't have any heroes anymore in the MCU. You have a lot of anti heroes. You have a lot of people who do really really bad things, like Captain Marvel, for example. You know how she steals a guy's motorcycle. You have a lot of bad guys that they're shoehorning in as heroes because they can't write the good heroes anymore. So they're trying to force in any marketing point they can with these woke diverse crap characters, and it's all for show anyway. Because when you actually go into these movies well, it's all brie larson it's all a bunch of white women you know it's all these blonde diverse characters also thank you so much truth hurts for subscribing yeah then the, the truth does hurt your name is really spot on there it's all a yeah. bunch of white well, girls what, what we got this covered isn't a very reliable source but you know as well as sam wilson taking over from steve rogers as captain america and jane foster inheriting the mantle of thor miles morales will eventually become the new permanent spider-man no he won't 
<laughs> no, no, he, no, he won't. No, because because he'll when he pulls off the mask, people say, "Who is this douchebag?" And what did he, what happened to Peter Parker? Well, I mean, Peter- the, the core fans are kind of moving on anyway outside of Phase Four. You know why? Because of people like Brie Larson. We're moving on to the next one because that one's just a that one's just a race baity article. The next <laughs> one is the Brie Larson wants to wants a Robert Downey Jr. type role in the MCU. Well, wasn't she already supposed to be Robert Downey Jr.? But it, it sounds like, from what we heard, Kevin Feige is having buyer's remorse. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I've heard that if a few times if, over. If she wants a Robert Downey Jr. type role, then you know what? She doesn't. I mean, again, this is, we got this covered, so they're not really Well, this most is a clickbait people. article anyway. This is yeah. just leading into talking about how, yeah, she's going to be leading the, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Like we said, not very diverse, just like a, a bunch of. Blonde, white-haired, white or yeah, you know, white girls, blonde hair, leading these when she could have been, you know, you, you know. Here's your thing: put your money where your mouth is, Marvel. You want a diverse Marvel? Who's who's the diverse Captain Marvel version that could actually bring in some of these changes? That if they actually gave a crap about it, other than just for these fake woke diverse marketing points, where these characters are reduced to nothing but wheelchairs. What's the name of that mm. one? I don't know. Monica Rambeau. That's where I'm going Monica with this Rambeau, one. Monica Rambeau, yeah. Oh, okay, Monica Rambeau. Okay, <laughs> yeah, sorry. if they really, really wanted that, instead of having these blonde hair white girls going in saying, we want diversity. Well, okay, okay, we had a Captain Marvel with you. Give us a diverse one next time instead of still <laughs> trying to shoehorn in this whole Brie Larson leading the cinematic universe stuff. Well, let me let me just take a, the – this is about three quarters of the way down. According to our intel, which comes from the same sources that told us Marvel were working on She-Hulk and Ms. Marvel shows before either of the Disney Plus exclusives were officially announced and that Han would return in Fast, in fast and Furious 9, or as I call it, Man Drive Car Fast. <laughs> It works in any language. Mm-hmm. The Captain Marvel star wants to be established as the face of the MCU and have the same kind of ubiquitous presence that Robert Downey Jr. enjoyed during his decade as Tony Stark. Stop right there. You're not Robert Downey Jr. He was a star for 20 years, too. He was a star for since the 80s. He was famous in the freaking 80s. I grew up with him on the screen all the time. The actress is fully aware that her character is poised to be one of the MCU's marquee names. Throughout Phase Let's Four and and beyond, <laughs> along with becoming the next leader <laughs> of the Avengers, ah! report and reportedly wants her status within the company to reflect an increased, oh God, role that would see her effectively replacing both Iron Man and Captain America. You're you're serious, aren't you? You're serious. <laughs> Captain People. There's a reason why we mock her, okay, relentlessly. <laughs> She's kind of an airhead. Let's just face it. She's kind of an airhead. She says no. a lot of dumb stuff. And you know what? She's probably sweet enough. Don't bother her. Don't messenger. Don't any of that stuff. No, no. But all we have to say people. is, all we have to say is, hey, listen, man. You know, the worst kind of stupid people are the ones that think they're smart. <laughs> hey, I'm not I'm not saying anything about her. But you know what? If the dunce cap fits. As much as we can, you know? just believe and and not. Look, fight she is a not Robert Downey and... Jr. Get it through. Get get it through your head. She's not Robert Downey Downey Jr. She doesn't have any of his uh, any of his charisma. She any of his personality. Any of the Robert star Downey power. Jr. Any star power. Robert Downey Jr. You want it. You wanted. You want something em- emotionally moving. You look at that video where Robert Downey Jr. gave. That that young kid, uh, a rob- uh, a um, a three D printed robotic arm, mm. in character, in the Stark Industries case, and he said, D- D- and the kid said, "Do you know who this is?" And he's like, "Yep, who is it?" He's like, "Iron Man." And Robert Downey Jr. was like, "Yes." <laughs> Do you know his real name, Robert? And he's like, "Nice." <laughs> But yeah, you want to be, you want something to move. Like, I, can you picture Brie Larson doing that? No. No. Brie Larson wouldn't even, wouldn't, Brie Larson wouldn't change a tire on the side of the road for you. Are you kidding me? 
Drop the taco. Get in the car. <laughs> if, if, <laughs> there's if, a reason if you why she's off putting. I mean, and that's the thing. There's a reason why she's marketed as the negative. Like they have to use they have to use the negative marketing stuff to even get her name established. Because before the Captain Marvel trailer, I had seen her in two movies and I couldn't remember her at all. Mm. She's not a very memorable, unique, original actress she's a very you know she's a very lovely sweet looking and nice enough probably woman when she's not spouting off about the i don't need 20 year old what 40 year old white dude stuff and when she's not reciting back the same garbage but that's because you know when you watch her interview she kind of comes across like a little bit of an airhead she kind of comes across like a little cold, bit of very, a surfer girl sort of almost cold very cold very indifferent and let me tell you this whole diversity push that that they're making for um for phase four i i am one of the biggest i was a huge marvel fan before the movies i if hey listen if i'm wrong i will gladly admit it but this is going to crash and burn in spectacular fashion remember that video with ethan and cecil mm -hmm. you had a decade's worth of free advertising with you know, Robert Downey Jr., Chris Evans, and and Chris Hemsworth as Thor, Captain America, and, and Iron Man. And the best you could come up with was Riri Williams and Kamala Khan. Who do you think is going to watch the, watch this crap? At, at some point, listen, we all thought Star Wars was bulletproof. What happened there? <laughs> In the toilet. There's no yeah. Star Wars anymore. The Star Wars, there's only there's only Baby Yoda now. That's all Star Wars is anymore. Mm -hmm. Unless it, 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 oh, the neg negative, there used to be saying there's no such thing as bad publicity. I'm like, that's not true anymore. As, well, as they're using the bad publicity I, to market Brie <clears throat> Larson so much. I mean, they put uh, her on YouTube knowing that there would be a huge backlash. Oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, she's getting she's getting all these subscribers, but yeah, I, I don't believe that's legit. I really don't. Uh, but and how as fat and listen, as fast as the meteor meteoric meteoric rise of the mcu it could be torn down in half the time mm. okay so be careful okay and we and i will be there to say i told you so we want to like this stuff just give us good stuff without this without the dumb fake crap because we know hollywood does not practice what it preaches we know they're yeah. out there just marketing to the lowest common denominator sort of people who don't see anything past the superficial outside divisionary crap and th there's a reason why people like superheroes because there's somebody to aspire to be somebody to look up to something they heroic are... there's something to believe in and you need stuff to believe in in this day and age they are supposed to be better than us. They are not supposed to be us. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. I am Mecha Random 42 And I'm Batman. <laughs> I thought you were Bob Iger. I thought you were the I'm Pope. Bob I we, he may appear. We don't know. <laughs> we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching! If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button, and if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe! See you in the next video! Bye!